saw you, uh, you were, uh, um, uh, I could tell you were kind of upset right after that ISM thing, and um, I'm just wondering what was going through your head. Well, uh, I had heard about the uh, harassment of fishermen, uh, and uh, I had no idea that this was going on on a daily basis. That, uh, these men go out there to try to ply their livelihood. Yeah. We're taking their lives in their hands uh, every hour that they were out there, every yeah. day. And the video taken by the ISM people showed 50 caliber machine gun bullets hitting within feet of these boats showed these patrol boats of the IDF yeah. practically sideswiping the, yes. these small, fragile fishing boats with the explosive devices being hurled over the side. Uh, at them. Uh, it was water cannons being yeah. fired at them, and they have virtually no shelter at all yeah. in these, these boats. And the just rampant cruelty leaps out at you. You see the IDF members standing on the deck watching the show uh, that they are putting on. Uh -huh. And this is done repeatedly. And uh, we are told that you can hear the gunshots from yeah. the shore. I, you know, I, I have the ISM saying all that. Yes. But I'm wondering about the effect on you on and whether there was... Uh, whether this, uh, not this specific, but whether this added, to what, what your general response now is to the, the trip and what you've heard. Yeah. There is, I, I had some sense before coming to Gaza that there was harassment of fishermen and farmers, etc., near the green zones, which are arbitrarily set. But uh, I have so much, it was almost stunning how much more uh, I am impressed with the uh, sheer cruelty uh -huh. and the, uh, the extent uh -huh. of this harassment uh -huh. and its deadliness. Yes. I, I had no idea. Yes. You, when you see people throwing themselves on the ground to yeah. avoid being shot, and you see people being hurled from one side to the other of a fishing boat, uh, because of water cannon being played on them, you get, you finally get the sense of the total horror uh -huh. of the situation, and the uh, the uh, colossal inhumanity uh -huh. uh, of what is going on, yeah. what's being done to, uh, to try to force the Palestinian people to break down or leave or mm -hmm. uh, become docile, mm -hmm. which unbelievably they refuse to do. Yes. So I can just say that it's, it's had a tremendous impact on me, uh, <laughs> even though I was coming from a position yes. of just through the facts previously revealed to me that, you know, this, there was a, uh, a totally uh, illegal siege yes. taking place. Yes. Now you see what that means. Uh -huh. And um, uh, what do you think the effect on, um, do, do you think this was an important trip in terms, from a political standpoint, an American political standpoint, this is obviously, I mean, it's, whether it's a footnote in history, whether it's a word in history, you know, this is an important moment in uh, left wing, you know, kind of engagement on this issue. But do you think that, uh, what is the significance of it going back home, do you think, this, this trip? Well, I I see a crack in the wall. Uh -huh. uh, I think that the Gaza uh, attacks mm -hmm. uh, alone, regardless of everything else that's going on, uh, resulted in a, uh, an opening in the American public consciousness yes. uh, that what they have been being told is not right. Yeah. Just as it was in Vietnam, yeah. it, was a, it was a point of, of awakening yes. uh, of the public when you realize that something is wrong here, and, and this trip 
is the means of obtaining the information and the motivation of people, activists on the left, to then go to the public wow. at this moment wow. and say, Yes, your instinct is right. Yes. Let me show you wow. the true facts. Wow. I'm not going to embellish them. Yes. I'm going to show you in the raw form. Yes. And this is what is happening. Yes. And this is what we must stop funding. What what stage uh, what year in Vietnam is this? In the anti-war struggle, what year would you compare this to in terms of that awakening? And it began in 68. The Tet see. Offensive was, uh -huh. I think, the, the Gaza attack of, uh, of December uh -huh. uh, 08. The uh, Tet Offensive of the um, first quarter of uh, 1968, yeah. when it, it all of a sudden became clear to everybody, to, you know, the public as a whole, that they had been lied to. Yeah. That, uh, that uh, we were prevailing and we, were, we had uh, suppressed a small uh, radical uprising when it turns out that it was a national movement, that it was very much in control of its own uh, destiny, uh -huh. and uh, that we were an occupying force. Wow, and wow. That's wow. when that consciousness began to spread. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. So that's my comparison. Thank you. Sure.